What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another art tutorial. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time your boy drops some heat. In today's video, I will be teaching you guys how to turn yourself into a Dragon Ball Z character. So, without further ado, let's jump right into this video. Okay, first thing you want to do if you got a digital tablet, like always, you want to come up here and set your pressure sensitivity. Just come right here, the pressure, and change these two last numbers to three. Then you want to come over here, get you a bright color, you know what I'm saying? Drop the opacity down. Now the main part of making these Dragon Ball Z characters is the eyes. You know what I'm saying? So that's all you gotta remember. Every time you're trying to turn yourself into a Dragon Ball Z character, only thing you gotta get on point is the eyes. You gotta get the eyes right, or the mouth and the mouth. I mean. So, every other feature other than that can be you. You know what I'm saying? Like, but to get these Dragon Ball Z characters, the, the eyes, the mouth, and the ears. Now, every other feature can be your own. Like, the nose can be you, the hairstyle can be yours, and all that other crap like that. That's that's a that's a front view. Now we're gonna do a side view. You just you keep the same thing going. Like if I was if I wanted him to face, if I wanted my character to face one way, let's say we wanted him to face this way. You gotta keep the same thing going with the eyes. You gotta have that the same. And then we draw draw the little nose. You can draw your nose, whatever nose you got on your on your face. You got the little. But make sure when you learning how to turn yourself into a Dragon Ball Z character, you want to make sure you got those eyes, the mouth, and the ears on point. That was just a little quick little thing I wanted to show y'all real quick. Well, it jumped right into it. I'm gonna turn myself into a Dragon Ball Z character. So the first thing I'm gonna start out with is the little head shape. Okay. I'm gonna draw my nose. Your boy got a big nose, but it's all good. You feel me? God made me with them nostrils like that. I'm gonna draw, draw the mouth. Eyes. So all you gotta get is the you get the eyes on point. It'll just it'll make up for everything else. You know what I'm saying? Every time you drawing a picture, you want to start out with a sketch, man. You don't want to, you don't want to commit to nothing. You know what I'm saying? So it's best to start out with a, a nice, quick, rough sketch. Cause on this, all you doing is you just shaping, you shaping everything out. You know what I'm saying? You just feeling it. You getting a good feel of how you want it. And when you moving fast on a sketch, it lets you see. If you you're going in the right direction, like okay, am I liking this so far? Like I I sketch fast because I want to hurry up and see like 
if my ideas looking somewhat decent, you know what I'm saying? But if I was taking my time, and then as soon as I get finished with it, and I, I, I realize I don't like nothing I did, I'd be like, I'd be mad as hell. I'd be like, man, I wasted all that time, and I don't even like what I drew, you know what I'm saying? So, don't commit to your sketch, just have fun with it. You know, so when you sketch, now when you you doing your final draft, that's when you really want to go through and you want to take your time. But when I'm sketching, I just want to be free and I don't want to put too much thought into it. So, but yeah, man, we turning up, we turning up the whole summer, man. I appreciate all y'all for the love and support. Y'all the reason I've been. I've been on it heavy, you know what I'm saying? Y'all give me give me purpose, you feel me? So I love and appreciate all you guys, man. Let me go ahead and do my little my little beehive little bun, man. I like to wear my dreads like on top of my head. So we just come. Ooh, ooh. Pretty good. Pretty good sketch of myself. Okay. Now, should I do the should I do the little eye thing? You know what I'm saying? What they were to look. The power meter. It's coming out pretty, pretty good. You feel me? Let me see what I'm be doing. Should I be like this? You know what I'm saying? Like testing my little glasses. Let me see. I wonder how would my hand be on that side? Yeah. Okay. okay I'm gonna draw that like that. My little, make sure the glass is working. You feel me? Okay. Woo woo. Woo woo. There you go. And that's a good look. Good little sketch right there. Okay, my shirt will be like this. Okay, okay what my other thing? I'm gonna just drop me sitting down like this. Quick little sketch by itself. I draw these fingers. Okay. And all it is, man, the more you do it, you just gotta practice. Being a good artist is just having confidence in what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? So, the more practice you do, the more like you'll feel like 
man, I can do it. So, if you ain't, if you feel like you ain't as good as me, or you, man, I can never do that. Yeah, you can. You'll get there. You just gotta, you just gotta stick with it. The more you do something, the better you'll be. Like if I go to the gym and I put up a hundred shots, eventually I'll be able to shoot like Steph. You feel me? But that's all, that's why I know it sounds cliche when I get a lot of people asking me like, how, sh what should I do to get better? And all I got to say is, the more time you put into it, the better you'll be because. It sound cliche, but it's the truth, man. The more time you put into practicing, sketching, just get you a little sketchbook. Every time you feel inspired or you want to just draw people walking by or just chilling, you just pull out that sketchbook and you just work on drawing things. Or you want to sit outside and try to draw the environment around you, it'll help you out too. So just practice. The more time, the time you put into it, the better you'll be at it. Okay, we got us a nice little sketch. Put a couple of wrinkles in my shirt. Okay, we got a couple of wrinkles going. All right, now we finally got our sketch down. What we finna do, we finna go back in with the line work. Now this, this way you wanna take your time and you wanna make sure you get all the detail and because the sketch was the the part you can be free where you ain't committing to nothing now you want to commit you want to make sure you got all the little detail and you getting everything right that's so basically your sketch is your blueprint we done laid out the blueprint for the whole piece now we finna go back and we finna add our line work so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna highlight all this Bring the opacity down even lower so my line work can really stand out. Okay, we're gonna lock that layer, create a layer right above it, get the color black. And we're gonna go back over with our fine detail, and I'm gonna make my brush a little smaller. Anytime you need to go back and delete something, just hit <coughs> control, hold control and hit Z and it'll, it'll step back for you.
coloring. So what you want to do, you want to select everything, go to object, expand appearance, and click merge on your pathfinder. Then you want to drag that layer to this blank sheet of paper to make a copy. Lock the top layer. And the reason I do that, so when I start coloring it, I create a layer between the base color and the line work. So no matter what I do, my line work will still appear at the top. So that's why I always make a copy and lock the line work. So after you do that, I'm gonna find you a good skin tone. Let your rectangle tool and drag it over the picture. Wait, hold up, hold up. Let's see. Yeah. Drag your rectangle tool over the picture. Then you wanna right click it, go to arrange, send to back. Then you want to select everything once again and click merge. After you do that, you want to right click onto the color and click isolate select group. Now you get to choose every color that's closed off and do, do your own tweaks. So we're going to get this and delete. And delete the outside colors. This shirt to uh, what color we gonna have on? Let's see, I'm gonna just put on the shirt I got now. Make this chair. Another thing I like to do, I like to click this drop down menu and click it again and come inside and lock all these black layers and leave these first two unlocked and then close it back. So now we can come up here, get this selection tool, and we can delete all the layers. that because it's colors in my beard that I wanted to make this pink shirt color so all I did was select it all and click my dropper tool to make it the same color so I'll come right here and do the same thing I'll click uh -oh. Now that we got, let me see, 
now that we got our base color down, we finna come in, lock that layer, create a layer in between for our shadows. Wait, create two layers in between, cause we're gonna do the eyes. Now we finna shade it. So what you wanna do, you wanna right click skin tone, and then you wanna drop the color down some, find a good blend. To get better at shading, it just takes some practice too. Cause it's really kind of like, once you get used to doing it, it'll be like a preference thing. It's like whatever you, whatever you think will make your picture look, look better.
Now we about to add the detail inside the dreads. So what you wanna do, you wanna, uh, let's see. You wanna go to your gradient. I already got my option up for the swatches, but I'm gonna show you how to get to it. You go to right here to view, I mean window, and then you go to swatches. Now after you click swatches, it'll pull out this little chart. Then you wanna click this little book right here, and you wanna go to gradient. Okay, you click the first one. After you click gradient, you want to come up here and you want to tweak the colors. You want to make the center color like, see what my, make it like a, you want to make the two edges like dark as you can, you know what I'm saying? But you want it to blend into something so it just don't be flat. So they have a nice blend. Okay. That's pretty good. I'm gonna get a center color. A little bluish tin. Okay, that's a good blend for some. There you have it, you guys. How to turn yourself into a Dragon Ball Z character. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe. More heat coming soon. And I'm out this thing.